What's up guys, you got Andrew and Julian here from Brown Flynn, maybe the Red Ranger. We just wanted to spend a couple minutes and show you guys kind of our process and how we do our inventory, how we keep things going and cycle through our merchandise. So this is actually our, like in the middle of our living room that like you can see here, here's a couch, here's Rocky. I don't know where he be's at, but um, this is our station of processing, all right? We do not do shipping here, but we basically do all of our inventory management here. So I think one new unique thing about Brownflay is myself, Jonah, we're both in the financial industry. Right, and we uh, we care about numbers, right? So we basically do what we can. Look at this guy. We basically do what we can um, to keep track of inventory. I think that's unique for Brownflay. Uh, maybe it's a waste of time, but we like keeping books together about what we're doing, what we're up to, and actually running profit analysis on individual things. I use just simple tools like List Perfectly. Uh, we run a QuickBooks account. Um, and just you know, supplementing with Google Google Sheets or Google Docs, whatever we need to do to get through it. So you'll notice here we've got four bins. So we have our four inventory bin. We've got our cleaning and testing bin. We've got our photo bin, which thankfully is empty. And then we've got our complete bin that goes upstairs into our shipping area. All right. So basically what we do is when we get home, we dump our Ikea bags in these four inventory bins here. And you can see this is all new stuff that we source, still has labels on them, um, still maybe needs to be washed or dirty, things like that, that we got to go through and we'll basically document each item in here and inventory it accordingly. As we go through that inventory, we're going to come out here to basically cleaning and testing, right? We've got video games and electronics in here. We've got some shoes in here, for example. We found these at the bin the other day but they got some stains on it we gotta basically just clean up this is a bin that everybody hates but we gotta get through this one as we get through cleaning or as items don't require cleaning they'll make it over to the photo i love that this is empty it's just got a couple tools that we use to help us take photos uh but we've got everything cleaned up and, ready to go. and again once the photos are done we throw them in the complete bin and we actually bring it upstairs um, for processing Coming up top here, this is our small little testing center uh, for most of our like DVDs that we have on sitting over here and video games. I got this little cheapy Dynex, um, it's like a TV, maybe it's a monitor, I don't even know. Uh, we got it for like five or six dollars at one of the thrift stores. And I utilize this to test things. We've got our little battery compartment seats here with our AAA, C batteries, D batteries, uh, little watch type batteries for other small toys that we basically just plop in and plug. We keep our, um, Post-it notes and other tools, screwdrivers, remotes, stuff like that. In case we need them, they're all floating out here. We got our ruler, you definitely need a ruler. This is our little receipt then. I, as like, as an accountant, we have so much work to do. This actually makes me want to throw up, it's so sad. Um, but we have a lot of work to do here. Um, this is our uh, like docking area. Uh, we've got some electronics and here's our GoPro accessories. Here's the chest D that you typically see me wearing. This is our regular camera. Here's our, it's a Sony uh, that we utilize it for our listings. Uh, we have another monitor here as well. Sometimes Jonah will plop the, uh, the her computer down here and start diving through and using this other screen to edit. And this is just a couple things that we gotta move through inventory and testing. So yeah, this is what we do. So we're always kind of going in here, processing, going through each and every single bin here uh, to make sure where everything is accounted for. And yeah, this does take time to process, but this helps us actually understand and run our business. So we're gonna take you upstairs and we're gonna show you um, shipping and how we process things as well. See you in a second. We've got 11 items going out this morning. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick all 11 items, tell you where they're going, tell you uh, what I believe the profit was on them, and then uh, get them packed up, get them over to the post office. And I don't know if we're gonna have time for Second Avenue this morning, um, but we'll try. And uh, let's, let's do it. So there again, there's 11 items that sold today. First thing that sold was a, um, a bear, a uh, Pittsburgh Steelers bear in our horde of plushies. So here is the bear that sold uh, twelve dollars for the bear. We got him out of the bins, so um, I think we have like a quarter on him. All right, next up, we've got a Beyblade lot, which is over here. Beyblades have done really well for us. Oh, this is like my little our little anime shelf, and maybe Ninja Turtles. I think there's a couple Beyblades sitting in here. Hopefully, yeah, there's four Beyblades in here. This Beyblade lot is separate. Let's see if 
to get him to stay here. Okay. And this Beyblade lot went for $29. Cost basis on this is four, four bucks. So not too bad. Next up, we've got the Bratz Movie Party Bus. This thing's kind of big, which is sitting over here. You guys saw we got this out of the dump bins the other day. Our $5 cost basis on this, and we sold it for $35. Number four is this pink Barbie metallic Corvette. And where is that? That should be somewhere over here, I think. That is over here. This was cool. I found this a, a good, uh, no, I found this at Second Avenue. It's like pink metallic. I don't know if the camera's showing it or not. Um, I think it was in that for about five bucks and it sold for 45. Had it for a while though. Next up is this vintage Kenner M-A-S-K Stinger. Uh, it's this little orange car. It's right here. This guy right here. This was $3 at 2nd Avenue. He sold for 15 bucks. Not bad. Next up, we've got a Chicago Bulls tank top. Which found it. Pretty cool. Chicago Bulls. This was, uh, I want to say, 50 cents. And it looks like we sold it for like $11 or so. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the sixth item, number seven. Number seven is a Movado watch. So we sold this watch for. $55. Cost basis on this watch was a little high. We put $25 into it. It's untested. I think it needs a new battery. But it sold $55 after fees and such. We'll probably make 20 bucks off of this. Not bad. Okay. Next up is Hello Kitty Radio. Here it is. Really awesome Hello Kitty Radio. I tell you guys all the time, we do really well. We do really well on Hello Kitty stuff. I think we paid $10 for this radio. We paid up a little bit. It sold for 32. Okay, next up is Princess Peach Mario Plush. This tower of plush is getting out of control, guys. Um... Let's see here. We have plush in these drawers as well. I just, so maybe she's sitting in here. We got Koopa, Transformer, We've got Stu. He's back here. That looks like Ray from Star Wars. And anime plush. And then this is filled with plush as well. Here's Luigi. Some Build-A-Bear. Here's, was it Dopey? It's Dopey. Build-A-Bear. Um, oh, here she is. There we go. There's Princess Peach. All right, so these all went on Mercari. And then we had two that went on eBay. So the first thing that went on eBay is this little die-cast Volkswagen. We have it. We only picked them up for a dollar. We sold it for nine, and that should be with the, our car area. Oh, here it is. Okay. Really cool car for anybody that likes die-cast. It had some damage to it, but we did we did disclose that. Cool car. And then last but not least is a Sonic the Hedgehog uh, Funko Pop. This little guy, uh, Shadow, uh, $11 plus $5 to ship. We're in him for, I think we paid $4 for him. Sonic stuff is pretty popular right now, especially with the, especially with the new movie coming out. Here he is. So again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 items going out. We got everything. Okay. Next step for us is to get the labels out.
IKEA bags are gold, people. I got first saw Harry Tornado uh, start using the bag system IKEA, and the second I saw it, I immediately invested in like five of them. They were like ten bucks or something. Totally reasonable. They help for not only packing, but shopping. All right. Um. Let me just send me to check this real quick. I don't think this is gonna work. No, nope. that's a fail, guys. That is a fail. Let's see what you can find about a box for this one today, guys. I think we're gonna have to um, search for one. It is recycling day. Maybe able to find something outside. If not, we're gonna have to go buy one. So before I pack the camper up, let me go do these couple eBay ones and let's get moving. We'll do the podcast part first. All right, all, that is 10 of 11. 
items. This is number 10. Shoving in here. Um, we're gonna figure out this van. Uh, so more to come on that, but we've got this going at least. Um, let me see if I can find another box outside for the van. Um, but let's get this loaded. Let's get some shoes on and let's get these things out of here because it is getting later and I need to get my butt to work. I will see y'all in a second. What's up? We are in the car and we're about to start driving around the neighborhood. I live in a nice little townhouse community. Now let's go find a box that's gonna fit this camper thing. It's recycling day, bright and early. See what we can find. We're just trash picking in a Porsche. No big deal, y'all. No big deal. Got some boxes over here. No. Sack is a miss. And if we can't find one, we'll just have to bite the bullet and pay for one. It's, uh, it's too small. Just small boxes there. Some of those small boxes, we always need those. This is by no means my favorite part of the job, but uh, it can be fun. Let's see what else. Need some gas too, not looking good. Get gas before we run over to the post office. down here this big white I don't think that has a top to it what about this thing well, that might be good might have found it might have found it let's see we'll rename the channel to picking in a Porsche oh Porsche enthusiasts I'm sorry box here it's big we're gonna go with it I like it let's get this in the car Okay, we made it. Here we go. We got something. All right, I had to pull my seat up like a lot. And now my knees are touching the dash, but it's okay. All right, let's go back home. I know picking supplies, or sorry, I know shipping supplies are not expensive. But when you're selling toys for five, ten dollar profit, everything does help. Uh, and I think it's also good for the environment to give these boxes a second chance. That's what we're gonna do. And it's also kind of fun. I'm not gonna lie. So let's go back home, let's get that thing shipped, and then let's get back in the car. And let's drop this stuff off. Okay, we got the Bratz camper packed up. It's back here. My seat is moved way forward. I bought this Porsche SUV thinking that it was gonna be nice and roomy as it was coming from a smaller car. It's not, it's definitely not. Awesome car, super fun. Not made for what we do, which is not. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna make it work. I'm gonna run over to the gas station before we stall out and then we'll 
we'll drop these packages off real quick and uh, let's see if we have a chance to do a quick second avenue run just look at the movies um, sorry the DVD uh, sorry the uh, video games the electronics and then maybe the toys um, we'll probably do it it's getting a little late here but we'll probably do it I think we got it. I think we got time all right so I will see y'all in a minute Alrighty, at the gas station. Just gonna show you how expensive it is to fill this car up. Really makes going to thrift store to the thrift store a little bit more painful right now. I assume a lot of y'all are feeling kind of that pain of, you know, gas not being a big deal. Now all of a sudden it is a big deal. This thing takes premium. It's like $4.60 or something like that a gallon, at least in, in Pennsylvania here. So, I don't know if y'all can see how easily you can see that, but uh, we're already at 40 bucks and it's climbing. Gonna guesstimate 70, 75, 66, 67, 68, 70, 71. Come on, don't go over 75. Oh man, ugh, ouch. Ouch, we're getting close to 80. Oh, a hair under 80. What is that? Yeah, I don't know how y'all are dealing with it. Eighty bucks. Just about eighty bucks. We got to make the thrifting count. We've got to find good deals to make these gas prices, um, just to make it all work. All right, it is what it is. Let's go over to the uh, post office. All right, just pulling up to the ship and print. So I drop off all our stuff at. You guys have seen it before. Um, they take UPS, FedEx, um, and USPS, so it makes it super easy. Um, so just go there. All right, let's drop this stuff off, and then we're gonna do a quick second round to run because I'm addicted. Be right back. We're gonna do a quick run on in here. I'm gonna try to be out of here within five or ten minutes, unless I find something super exciting. In that case, I'll stay a little bit longer. Start with the trucks and cars. Have fun at Second Avenue Thrift Superstore. Here for my yellow 
I saw this the other day, but it's missing its mirror. It's a bummer. This is cool. Red Bull Racing. Let's see if we can find any comps. Right. Um, these are these aren't necessarily sold. These are just listed. So it could be a fifty dollar bill in here. Box is seriously damaged.
what you see, please like and subscribe. Peace.